Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is again CSR3 because we're keeping it funky fresh. We are going to go over pretty much everything else about the game for now. I'm going to explain how part upgrades work. I'm going to understand or explain car credits, the three different car types of street uh, or of drag, street, and balanced, I believe, is or uh, control is the other one. In my previous video, previous couple videos, I showed how to get the early access APK and I showed every single car in the game and kind of gave my thoughts and opinions on each car. But in this video, I just want to explain how the entire game kind of works so far. Keep in mind this is early access to the game. Things can change at any time. It's only version 0.8.0. .0. Anything can change. They can add stuff. They can remove stuff. They can tweak stuff. It's going to happen. That's the point of early access and having beta testers. So I'm kind of trying to do my job of giving my thoughts and feedback through my videos to also show you guys. And then you can give your thoughts and feedback in the description or in the uh, comments section or on my Discord or whatever. If you're wondering how I'm recording because people ask me all the time. I use something called Screen Copy, S uh, S C R C O P Y. Uh, I believe that's it. You get it off of GitHub. You just enable USB debugging on your Android device, um, have ADB on your system, and then click the EXE and it basically runs and records your screen off your phone or your tablet. So right away, I really hope they bring back the ability to open the doors and the hoods and stuff like CSR2 has. It's not in here yet, and there's not like a photo mode for your car yet. But again, it's early access. That's, you know, probably an afterthought. Let's get into everything else. I already went through all the car brands in my previous video. I'm just gonna, you know, this is what we got so far. Let me explain car credits before I forget to because I'm a very forgetful person. Let's open up Alpine. This is a car I hope to unlock in this game. You see how it says zero out of 15 find credits? Basically car credits, you don't buy the cars with your in-game currency in this game. You earn car credits to unlock the car by doing races where you can earn the car credits or opening you know premium crates or things like that go find credits you can see that there's a way with keys with 10,000 in game cash or uh, gold to get them I'm glad there's at least somewhat of a way to get them with in-game cash but looks like you are limited to three so and then maybe they reload over time I don't know Next up, let's go with just looking at your profile. The profile isn't like previous CSR games. It just kind of goes over your basic uh, scoring here. I don't know what this stands for. It should just be EXP, in my opinion. Uh, CL, I saw this on their help page. I don't remember what it stands for. But let's go back. So now we're in the garage. I do like the UI overall at the moment, and I do like the garage where the cars are sitting. It does look really good. I hope they bring back the thing from CSR2 where you have like your profile specs right on the car door right here instead of it just being like a big advertisement. Let's click the middle button. Middle button just kind of takes you to these cards and you can search through and see every car in the game, which this would have been a way better way to do the past video. <laughs> Halo cars, so those are going to be the rarest cars, I'm guessing. But, very cool. Just a good way to see how many cards you need for what specific car. Oop, I clicked it again, my bad. Not what I meant to click. Next up, click this, and you can basically see your cars. I don't like this view because the car just looks like it's floating, and it's not really doing anything. But it looks like if they have a prestige system is what I believe is basically what this is. As you can see, I can still find credits for this car. This is way too bloomy. This is way too bright. The shadow underneath kind of... This is just too much. This is awful looking. I'm sorry, developers. I'm going to just say that straight out. This is awful looking. You can find the credits. You can prestige your car from what I can tell. <laughs> this takes you your car upgrades kind of a jolting change from the 
you know, clean change I would expect with like CSR2. But again, early access, it'll probably change. You can see this is how the upgrade section works. There are 15 stages for each part, which means you're pretty much never going to max out a car unless you're using an APK. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you have nitrous, engine upgrades, transmission upgrades, tires, suspension, and weight reduction. From there, oh, come on, don't take me back there. So you can also see, you have a little email thing. This is just messages probably from like administration or whatever. Maybe they'll add like a method to add friends. Allow mobile downloads, sure, whatever. This screen doesn't scroll yet. That's another bug. You also can't select mile per hour. And that's really about it as far as the garage. Oh, and your in-app purchases, basically. You have gold, you have your cash, and you have keys. Not that big. Oh, and you do have crates. Down here. So I already got my free crate for the day, the couple hours. I don't know how often these replenish. You get like two car pieces and um, <coughs> some cash. So... When you are higher up in the stages of upgrading your parts on your car, it does look like there is a what's similar to stage 6 uh, car upgrades on CSR2, where you have the little icons on the car part and you can add parts you earn from racing. Or I don't have anything like keys or anything to try to open something there. But let me explain the three car types here. Uh, can I just see them this way? No, I can't. That's right. That's not the right button. I'm still getting used to this user layout. Sorry. <coughs> also, I swear I'm not Canadian. I don't apologize all the time. Street balance. So it's a street car with good balance. That means everything is kind of even as far as, you know, cornering, uh, straight line speed, tire grip, and like stopping power or whatever. Power. This is a good straight line speed car. Don't take it on some kind of track that's got twists and turns. Control for a track, that means it's good on a track that might have multiple corners. Drag balance, as you can see, you know, good for drag racing, but it's a good balanced car. Street control, drift, power, you know, it's touring, balance. There's these different types of cars. And not going to lie, I kind of like it. I... You know, the whole car rating system, I don't know if, what this stands for. Power points, maybe? I don't know. Um, 465, this doesn't feel needed. But since there's not multiplayer yet in the game, maybe that's why it doesn't feel needed. If they add multiplayer in the future, because it's not here in the early access that I can see, and it's not even explained that there's multiplayer racing uh, on the Google Play Store. So... I don't know if they're planning on adding multiplayer. I'd love to find out, but not much I can find out at the moment because I don't have, you know, direct connection to developers or something like that. But I do like the idea of, like, track balance because this tells you what kind of car and what kind of races it's going to be really good for. And it, it was funny. The other day I was talking on Racing Gamer Slovenia's Discord channel and I was saying we need a game that's like Top Drives where you collect cards but you have physical control over the cars. This is closer. This is getting close to that because you do kind of have these cards where you have to collect the cards to unlock the vehicle. And then you do have kind of control over the racing. You don't have control over the car turning. It's basically kind of a rhythm game. I'll show you where you hit the brake pedal uh, while you're shifting uh, with like timing. What is that drifting game? FR Legends or something like that. It's similar to one of those games. Um, where you hit brake at the right time and then you're able to, you know, slide through the corner and keep your speed. Let's go racing. <clears throat> I need to set up my... Oh, I'm going to have to hold on to it. So you do have... I only have a couple race types here unlocked. I have Exhibition, Regulation, and Story. The Story mode is corny. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's very corny so far. I don't know how much I like it. I've just been tap, tap, tapping through it, but you know, whatever. As you can see, like I was talking about with different race types, this is an apex type where it has a corner and then high speed to the end. 
So this is probably a good either balance car or I wouldn't say this is a good control car because control is going to be primarily for corners and stuff like that. If this had two turns in it, I would go for a control car. But this is a long straight after an early corner at like a third of the way down the racetrack. This is where I would use a balance car. So I'm going to make sure my balance car is selected. Whatever car you have selected is the one that you're going to race with. So yeah, I got my Supra selected. I want to upgrade it. It's one thing. One or two things. Let's give it... I don't have grip. So we're going to go there. Maybe I'll do transmission. No. Weight reduction touches everything. That's good. We'll do a weight reduction mod. Sick. I like that you can kind of just click through everything really quickly. So let's do my regulation race. Series two, I already completed series one, which is like level one. And ah, this is where the multi-race, uh, multi-car selection comes in. So you can select your car that you're going to race with from here. I'm gonna use the Supra for this race. There are multi-stage races in this game, which I think is a very cool feature. So let's say there's two races I have to win here in order to pass this, you know, level of the series. I would select my Supra and my Dodge SRT. It says this is going to be a hard race. We'll see if it's lying or not. This is awkward to hold the phone in my hand like this. I'm going to actually turn up the volume on the game. I don't remember if this records the volume. It does not. Okay. Screen copy doesn't record the volume. Never mind. I'm not going to turn up the volume. Uh, let's go for a quick race. Now I'll show you what the cornering racetrack is like. Loading. The loading screens are so fast. It's so good. I don't mind the graphics of this game as far as the racing aspect. It's not terrible. I don't know if it's CSR2 quality quite, but... Not bad. So you have your perfect launch. You don't launch the car yourself. I'm going to wait until after the corner. Perfect break. Dick. And then I'm going to use nitrous. In it. There we go. That was basically a perfect race. Oh, Lord. Oh, I lost. Still basically a perfect race, but... Unfortunately, I did lose it. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I could have done a little bit better. Maybe there's a different upgrade I need to put on the car. Who knows? I could go do a regulation race and, you know, earn some extra cash, throw some extra power at the car. So, that wasn't that bad. Let's go look at a regulation race. Or exhibition, sorry. I have a balance car. And I'm using the Supra. There we go. And we'll hop online. I really hope they add multiplayer because I like this concept. So let's go. Let's do a race. And loading. Yeah, the loading screens are great. So the device I'm playing on is a OnePlus 8T. Uh, Snapdragon 875, I want to say. Ooh, that was great breaking. The nitrous now. I want to know if I could beat that. What was it, like 5.6? Whatever. I don't remember what the AI ran in that last race already. <clears throat> there we go, got some cash. Sick. The one thing I don't <coughs> sorry. One thing I don't like in this game is how this race ending screen is shown. You get given very little information. Now granted I get that there's not Ah, there we go. Well you can see when you did stuff. That's good. But you don't see you see your zero to hundred, you see your zero to two hundred, your top speed, your cornering speed and your driving speed and then you see your time over here, the left and to the right for the AI. 
I don't know. I want a regular time slip. Maybe that's just because I'm a drag racing gamer. Like 1320 Challenge has ruined me. So did Racing Rivals. But give me an actual time slip. Let me know how long the race actually took so I know what car is the fastest car. There we go. She explains what a balance car is. That's cool. So, I got six grand. I need to do one more race and then we can hopefully earn. Let's do a regulation race. You get a lot of money from regulation. I didn't read what she said. Win races to unlock higher difficulties. Go do this rookie race and get six grand out of it. That's hefty, hefty, hefty. <coughs> there we go. Six grand is a good chunk. Let's do it. Let's win it. In it for the biscuit? I don't know. I don't know what car people say. Uh, good launch. Whatever. I'm gonna hit the nitrous before the turn. Oh, I hit the... Okay, good. The brake pedal is not heavily act... Or doesn't seem to activate... Oh, it does. So I can use the brake pedal now. I accidentally tapped it before, thinking it was the nitrous button. So that's another thing I don't really like, is the brake pedal is always there. Granted, I get it. It gives you the chance to accidentally hit it. <laughs> I'm not going to be mad about that. But, I don't know. It's... I hit it by accident instead of hitting the nitrous button. So... Maybe they're just too close together. Alright, let's do a wrench. Or do a wrench. Let's do an upgrade. Nitrous. Engine. Eh. Brands. Suspension. Grip, I don't think will help. Let's do a nitrous upgrade. There we go. And I'm level 6. So I got some new stuff. Let's go again. I'm going to try to win this once more. Now it's 74%. I've won 75% and 80% races already, so... I should be able to do this as long as I perfect launch. But this is basically what CSR 3 is at the moment. There's no multiplayer, it's just kind of grinding through a basic story mode. So I really do hope they add the multiplayer. Cool, I got the perfect launch. I'm going to hit Nitrous now. I know that's early. Oh, I hit the brake late. That's okay. I saw the green, but I still hit it way too late. That thing's going to fly up past me. I know it is. Oh, I got a good shift, too. Well, I might still be fine. I'm still fine. I won. Cool. So even with a major mistake on the corner and hitting nitrous really early instead of late, I was fine. Well, that's good. Actual time slip. Dang it. I want to know how fast I went overall but anyway yeah this is csr3 and it's kind of cringy story <laughs> yeah but my thoughts so far on it is this is pretty much everything my thoughts on it so far is i hope they add multiplayer of some aspect because you don't have any games out there right now where you have drag racing with corners like this one has i really hope you know, maybe something like trading car credits would be cool. I doubt they'd add it, but I don't know. Just give me the multiplayer. I feel like multiplayer will be fun on this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the kind of sneak peek of what CSR 3 is at the moment. And let's pay attention to what they change it into over time of development and early access. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.